Yeah, welcome to another episode of Black Men Do Talk. We have overdue conversations from a black man's perspective. I am one of your hosts, Street Hymns. And I am Bliggity Black, and I'm Biggity Back. My name is Trey. Deed. Okay. What? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. I'm not black, I'm OJ. Okay. <laughs> but that's not what I, no, 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 okay. no. Don't you dare put me in that. I said I'm, I just I just did the okay. That's, okay. I, I'm, oh, I'm okay. more about okay. that okay. rather than okay. the, okay. Like, right. I know you're black, Trey. I don't think that I'm not. <laughs> All right. How was your week, sir? Uh what happened this week, honestly? Um oh man, I've been like going crazy on writing my manga. Yeah, so I'm writing a manga right now. A lot of world building, character building. And storyline development for the first chapter. And um, uh, I pretty much will be done, possibly by the next couple of days, oh. writing the story, the, 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 the story in general. Um, and then just going to reach out to some agents and then see who can find a nice little publisher after I get an agent. Is, are you a book? Did you not just hear me say manga? Yeah, but I'm saying like it's going to be like a comic book. Don't they do animes and comic books? I don't know. Manga. I don't know the difference, so don't do that. I just said it. I don't. I, I'm assuming it's all anime. I don't, what's a manga? Anime is animation. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. Contest I, clues, I, you uncultured swine. I did. Okay, I'm literally telling you I don't. My bad. Know. Okay, you're telling oh me. You're, you're, you're explaining. It. Indeed, indeed. He doesn't know. Okay, so the manga is like the Japanese comic book version. Okay. Of, you know what I'm saying, what would be an anime later on. So, like, before it becomes an anime, typically, I think ex- with the exclusion of, like, a couple, like, I don't think Avatar was necessarily a manga beforehand. Okay. Um, but most animations come from what is known as a manga beforehand. And like, so, your joint is going to a, be a comic book. And then it has a potential It's going to be a manga. Uh, I mean, it's going to be in comic book form. It's going to be a manga form. Manga book form. Which is closely related to a comic book. I'm trying yes. to, I'm yes. trying to, I'm trying to visualize yes. it to where yes. I can understand it. Indeed, yes. gotcha. Okay, because like a comic book won't always you, necessarily just have like uh, the little frames in it. Sometimes sure. it'll have entire pages. You know what I'm saying? It oh, depends. Okay. Yeah, that's true. It's like it's a certain style. So like, and also comic books are read left to right. Mangas are read right to left. Oh, I didn't know that. So it's like the Japanese read from right to left on a page. Oh, the same okay. way the Hebrews do. And so when they make their book, you don't flip like we do. They flip right. the opposite. opposite and in way. fact, the okay. book is actually what we would call backwards. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So, yeah. So, it'll be written in that format, unless the publishers have something else to say about it, which I don't really, that's not a, it's, I don't really have like a dog in a fight on that. I would prefer to be right to left because of just the culture, but if they choose, hey, well, we only know how to write our books this way. That's going to make the printers go crazy. Sure, man. Just give me the money. I'm so, cool typically, <laughs> it goes. Secure the bag. Typically, it starts as a manga and then gets adapted to an anime. Starts as an idea. Sure. And then. <laughs> Once it's ideated, nigga. <laughs> Once it's ideated, okay? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Starts yeah. as a manga. Gotcha. <laughs> this nigga said, starts as a, I can't, this nigga's not letting me win today. <laughs> nah, um, I, bro, I just got to smoke today. It's not, it's not even you. Bro. I know it's, it's not, not for me. You, bro. It's I not know. even you, bro. It's not even you, bro. My bad, like, my bad. <laughs> yeah. Some people do. So in the same way, Pokemon is considered anime as well. You know, it just depends. Yeah. Yeah. It's considered. Like, but like. Cook this nigga. When you think, when you think <laughs> anime, you don't really, like, people don't say Pokemon. You'll think Dragon Ball Z. Culturally, it's like, it's, it throws people off. And so some people actually say that Avatar is not an anime because it didn't come from a manga. But it's like, oh. even, even anime itself typically is Japanese first. And then translated uh, elsewhere, but animes like Berserk were English first. Animes um, like the one I think that um, uh, Jaden Smith did on Netflix—that's English first. I'm not sure it had Japanese first. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like Jaden Smith has an anime. 
Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's it it. Um, it from what I, uh, it has no good reviews. So you know. What did Jada say about it? The icon living. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, Jay, I, I, I love what Jaden does. He's he's one of my favorite. No, I said what did Jay Duh said about it? Oh, Jay Duh. Jay Duh, because she got everything to say about Smith Man. Dang, yeah. That's what she said. That's not. Ah, uh, you are That's continuing your streak. No, You're no, continuing no, no, no. your streak. Okay, nah, bro. I, I'm not doing Jada stuff today, bro. No, nah, we're not. We're not. We're not. That was your week. I wrote my mom. I'm writing my manga. It's yeah. going great. Shout out to Kai. She's my uh, my illustrator. Kai. Kaya. Kaya. Not the one that come to the pod. No, she's never been here. She's from Philly. Also, okay. she has her own manga. It's a faith based manga called Flip Flop. Um, if you look up huh. Crazed Kai K R A. D E D K I K A I. Um yes, yeah, she has a manga out right now that is faith based and it's called Flip Flop and it's fire. And she's also doing my illustrations as well. So Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Fire stuff. Fire stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. That's what's up. Yeah, my week was cool. All the way up until Friday. Friday I took a low key L the business side. But I'm learning. Indeed. Learned it, and it was a hundred percent all on me. Those are the worst. Those are that bro. I was pissed, pissed at myself. But, but is it is it irredeemable? No, 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 no. no. I offered a free, you know, offer a free uh, shoot. Um, so we're gonna connect again. I think I think we'll be good. That's good. Um, it was one. Bro, of those, you remember the bag I fumbled? Huh? Last year. Or like yeah, early, remember, earlier, yeah, yeah. Bro. Actually, actually, I remember. I remember well, one of the things that pulled me out. I was. Th- I thought about you telling me that story, and then I thought about something my dad told me, like from when he was younger. And I was like, "All right, let me stop tripping, because ain't nothing I can do about it right now." Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So it's just one of those things where it was like, and I think the frustrating part about it was, I recognized where I could have done something to 100 percent avoid it, but. It's also a thing where it was like the communication just wasn't the best. And so. Indeed. Bro, you know what's crazy, bro? The bag I fumbled. Just this week, we're reconsidering terms. Oh, dope. I, I, I hit him up. I was like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? I know things weren't great, but, you know, I'd still like to help if you're needing this. And we had a conversation. He's like, man, I could have been more gracious with you. And I was like. That's what's up, bro? I ain't never gonna turn down no grace. Nah, nigga, we gonna take <laughs> it every day. Like, we gonna take it every day, boy. Twice, the box, twice on yeah, Sundays. <laughs> but yeah, I hope yeah, it's good that uh, whatever happened, like the fact that they're still willing to work, that's fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so. you gave reparations. Yeah, I was. You gotta it was, give it if you drop the bag, bro. You gotta repair. You got to, bro. You, you gotta repair. Got to. This is yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you have free to. shoot. That's kind of crazy, though. Hey, know? look, bro. Hey, you must have dropped that bag, bro. Crazy. I think I, I actually ran a situation by a couple of people and they feel like they still was like, no, it's still on you. But they're like, you're making it bigger than what it is. For sure. And for I was sure. like, well, the fact is still willing that they took the shoot is like, yeah, why not? For, no, for sure. For sure. Yeah, so. that's what's up. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Well, let's hop to it. my boy. Let's get it, man. So I was on the app formerly known as Twitter. <laughs> X. Um, yeah. The young X. You know. And I got tagged in this video where this oh, guy. Oh, somebody tagged you. Yeah, well, it got sent to me. So somebody sent it to me in a text message, and it's like, okay, let me check this joint out. And within the first 30 seconds, I was just like, hold. I, I felt like I was, it felt like I was in a battle, and the person was like rapping too long. And I was like, bro, I really want to just go. <laughs> like, like, let me rap, bro, because this thing is pissing me off. Yo, <laughs> like, it wasn't bro, that, that bad. Bro, yes. Bro, I'm trying to I'm, I'm listening to this joint. I'm like, yo, this is terrible. I'm not gonna lie. I listened to the video and I couldn't I couldn't finish it because it was just it was terrible. Yeah. Well, it I'm was, gonna play it right now. Yeah, you know go ahead, play it, play it. So this dude um is giving his perspective. Now mind you, the video is called Um <laughs> Why did they change Jesus's name? Jesus now I'm saying this uh, <laughs> from a diss because this nigga put an apostrophe That's behind like, Jesus yeah. and then put another S. So first of all, your grammar's off, nigga. Yeah, no. Jesus, us is. That's already sus. I took an L. 
Because you done put an S on the S on the S. Yeah, you susses. Yeah, you put a susses. That's sus, sir. Why did they change Jesus as his name? Um, Satan does not want you to know this. And what is Jesus' real name? And then he also put, this video could save Bro, your life. <laughs> Bro. Play it, play it, play it. You know his name's not Jesus, right? If you go back to where Jesus was walking the earth and you walked around and said, where's Jesus? Nobody would know who the fuck you're talking about. If you start looking deep into the scriptures, man, one of them says, my children will know my name. Well, his name ain't Jesus. You know, the scripture says, seek and ye shall find. Listening to a pastor tell you something isn't seeking. Why am I so big on the name? Well, because if you look at certain scripture, it says, give praise to my name. Give glory to my name. What's his name? No, it says Jesus. That's not his name. So everyone says it doesn't really matter. He just, as long as he knows. Look, I didn't read the part in the scripture that said that. I didn't read that part. I didn't read the part, hey, call me whatever you want. Just call me. Because his name was given to us over 7,000 times. But then at some point in time, way back in about 383 AD, they translated it and, and they were told not to use the name anymore. One of the Ten Commandments is, thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. Now, what does the word vain mean? It means to make meaningless or useless. How much more useless can a name be if you just stopped using it? You're making it as useless as it can be by not using his name. And he says, don't take the Lord's name in vain, which most people think says, don't say God damn. God damn is it. First of all, God ain't his name. That's a title. Secondly, that's not what it means. It says, don't make God meaningless and useless. But that's not actually what the, the thing said. He basically said, don't make my name meaningless. That was his commandment. And then we are all doing it when we say Jesus. We're all doing it when we say God. Why? Because it's not, that's not his name. Imagine going up to the pearly gates, because I could have just saved all your lives. And there's a big dude up there like this. He's standing there all big and buff as shit. He goes, what's up? You say, what's up? They say, who are you here to see? You say, Jesus. And he goes, and he goes, I don't know who you're talking about. You ever read the scripture where he says, go away, you do not know me? Because if you knew me, you'd know my f-ing name. <clears throat> I'm going to walk up. They're going to be like, who are you here to see? And I'm going to say, I'm here to see Yashua. Yashua. My man Yashua is supposed to meet me here so I can go meet Yahuwah or Yahweh. And if I'm wrong, we're all fucked. First of all, if he, <laughs> if he wants to be like super duper technical, he shouldn't just say Yeshua. It should be Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus the Savior. Uh, but it, but look, you know, I I just I just felt like he wanted to be super yeah, technical. Uh, the Hamashiach is uh, an extension of the title. Really. But that's but if he's going to address it because. I, I don't know if this. I don't know if he had the full context of what he's talking about. But if he, oh no no no, he knew he had context of what he's talking about. He's talking about wrong. The, the like the 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 actual um, significance in the Hebrew of like the full title of 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 the like distinguishing between uh, the Hebrew the Hebrew names in in, in in the Trinity. You should attach that title to Jesus. It shouldn't just say Yeshua. Uh, Maybe I, I, I mean I I'm, think, I'm, so, if so, you're gonna so, go like, the like techni- said, if you're gonna be it, technical about it. So I, I think the technicality also is the fact that the name Jesus is also a title. No facts, yeah, yeah, facts, facts for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, like think of it like this: like we uh we we all say in the black church, lift the name of Jesus, lift the name of Jesus. He has been. Now, I'm, mind you, if you think about that sentence, it's like saying the name of Mitchell. What's the name of Mitchell? Mitchell. Exactly, nigga. Also, you know what I'm saying? His, so, like, so, so the name of Jesus actually has something behind it. Like, he I has agree. so many other names you can, like, when I say the name, what's the name of Jesus? You can actually go off and go down a list of things okay. that are associated to his nature, his identity, his title. And so, the title he was given, the name he was given was Savior, Deliverer, sure. right? Yeah. He who will save, essentially. And, he is the Christ. You know what I'm saying? So Christ is not his last name. It's an extension of title. the title. Exactly. exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's Yeshua the Christ. So, yeah. Also, shout out to the buff angels out the buff there. An- it's not buff angels. These are God. 
You see this big buff dude up there. I just, oh, okay. Name is, I, I thought he said buff angel. No, he said God. Oh, okay. This is, like, this is him talking to God like, who are you here to see? <laughs> oh, That's the question. Gosh. Who are you here to see? <laughs> I thought he said angel. That makes it worse. Oh, my God. That makes it worse. God's standing at the gate letting people in. <laughs> what? Uh, d- depending on if you, depending on if you pronounce the name right. What? <laughs> <laughs> Your shoer. Oh no! Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> got it wrong. Ba- back in the line. <laughs> back in the line. You better get that right. Niggas with a list for doom. <laughs> yes. Your sewer. Su- yes. Like, oh. Your sewer. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. Who you here to see? I Your sewer. I don't know. Yeah, nah, <laughs> if you got a nah, list, nigga. or if you're nah, mute, nigga. right? It's like, oh, what? What you? Who you here to see? <laughs> he gonna be standing together like this. Gonna be. It's like it's like it's like. He's looking like this. <laughs> what? Do? What's happening? <laughs> okay, so let's address this idiot. Um, uh, okay, so uh, first point. He says, if you ask around, no one would know who you're talking about. Here's the thing. <laughs> In the time of Jesus, if you would have asked around on who's Jesus, they would have asked for the extension of a title because it was multiple people named Yeshua at the time. Which is why I'm like, if you're going to be technical, you have to attach the title to it. Absolutely. So that's the thing. Yeshua, the son of the carpenter? You're talking about Yeshua, the son of Mary? Like, the, like that one? The, the one from Nazareth? Jesus of Nazareth? They always associated a title to allow description. So it's like Pliny the Younger. They didn't have last names. So your, your name was associated to either the place you were born um, or something about your job description, right? right? Um, and technically, it's not Jesus the carpenter. He's the son of a carpenter. It would make logical sense to assume that he would become a car- carpenter, but Jesus is actually never called a carpenter. You know what I'm saying? I, th- I think that actual kind of dynamic is what's applied here where – we're hearing things that, we're, that are common in church culture and then taking it in like, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? The letter J, you know, was, is a, is, was made up and they had to, you know what I'm saying, confuse the Christians and the, and the black people from the truth of what's going on. Where it's you like, think we get the letter J from, brother? Yeah, we're, like where did it Free come from? Free your mind. Elevate yeah. your mind, King. Yeah. And, and, and obviously, if, if you just look up history or just look up the di- – if you go to dictionary.com and look up the etymology or the history of the, the, the letter J, yes, the letter J itself, the letter J, the character of J was introduced past the 1500s. But the J sound, lighter and harder, existed before the character existed. It would just be written as like I-I. You know what I'm saying? Two eyes. And, and, then, and also, etymology is very important. How we get words and where words come from are, are very, very important. And so when you're talking about how different words translate across languages, a word does not have to have the exact identi- identical alphabet in one language to transfer and keep its meaning in another language. That's not how language works. Etymology and translations and even transliterations allow us to take and maintain at least the, the, the majority of the sanctity of a word across languages. So I, even Glory even, to my name. Even when people bring up the whole J argument, it's it's like okay, cool. Well, if you don't, if you want to take the letter J out of it, let's look at the etymology of the name Jesus. Well, Paul, who wrote two thirds of the of the two thirds, it's two like two thirds of the New Testament. He references Jesus a lot, but he was the New Testament is written in Greek. There's, there, there, there's, so there's a, obviously a, a Greek translation, and then we have Latin translations, and then we finally get to the Jesus, you know, yeah, we have in, in, in English. But there are ways, and there are systems, and there are literal, you know, concepts for us to track, you know, different uh, words across languages. Just because the J that exists in the Hebrew language at the time does not mean that Jesus is some fabricated, you know, demonic blasphemous title that we just decided to make up. No, it has real history. It's interesting because uh, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm also referencing this later on as well um, but one of my favorite 
alcoholic beverages is from Ethiopia. You drink alcohol? You sinner. Yes, I do. You. And when they were well with drink, <laughs> Jesus brought out some. My bad. Um, <laughs> hey, yo. I had a, I had a, had a conversation time, with man. somebody about that the other day. Don't do it, bro. I, no. <laughs> hey, look. I, I, you know what? Hey. There you go. That's another topic, bro. Hey, anyways, anyways, anyway, anyways, <laughs> anyways. Um, it's, 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 it's spelled out T-E-J. Now, mind you, if you're asking for the Amharic, I won't be able to give it to you. But it's, you. we will read it as Tej. Now, mind you, I have been in Ethiopian restaurant to Ethiopian restaurant. And when I go in there and ask for Tej. They know what you're talking about. No, they don't. They don't? Really? Okay. But if I ask for Tej. Ah. Tej. Say it like this. Yeah. Somewhat. Now, mind you, I've done it just like that. And they're like, huh? Okay. Got and I'm like, dang. Now, mind you, I got the transliteration. Right. I got how, like, it's even telling me how to say. But the way that they do things with their own tongue, I, I can't. The ability I don't. Yeah, yeah, bro. It's, 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 it's something where I'm limited in that because I didn't grow up in that culture. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I, th- I think as we're talking about stuff like this, and he's saying how something is not the meaning, not the definition, he's about the literal, but the pronunciation. The pronunci- how it sounds. He's saying yeah, it's crazy. this yeah. video could save your life by pronouncing Yeshua as Yeshua instead of Jesus, your life could be saved. And this is where this is... I would call this a heresy because this nigga is completely lost. And I think that for you to whatever, I don't know if it's a podcast or American flag and some books. It it looks like a podcast. Is that a sword? Okay. You know, yeah. yeah. All right. And a rhino. Yeah. The righteous sword shall this. follow the American you know, flag. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I ain't going to go there. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so this, why did they change Jesus, us, his name? Let's talk about it. So we got, we got uh, the. <laughs> He's childish. <laughs> oh, I think he's ill-informed. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. He's ill-informed and <laughs> grammatically incorrect. Jesus. Um, so, yeah, he said if, if you would have asked around, no one would know who you're talking about. And um, if you would have asked for Yeshua, you'd actually have to have more description to actually pinpoint who or which Yeshua you're talking about. Because there were other Jesuses. Or as he would say, Yeshua's or Yahushua's. Or Yahushua Hamashiach. However you want to pronounce it. Yahuwah. Yahuwah. Yeah, That's indeed. Nice. Yeah. Yahuwah. My man, my, his daddy, Yahuwah. It's like, whatever, Hola. bro. I am, baby. Hola. Indeed. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so, so it's, it's, it's association that's important. Um, in this entire clip, what's interesting is, I was debating, not really debating too much. It was just, you know, just kind of asking questions because there's a lot of people in there that were just, like, giving him amens. And I said, yo, I said, name one thing he said correct. And nobody responded. Here's the thing. He didn't quote a single scripture in this entire thing correctly. There was not a single, if you realize, he never referenced where the verse came from. And he never said the entire verse because the verses he was saying actually don't exist the way he is describing them. Example number one, he says, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, my children know my name. Where? What scripture is that? I don't know. I didn't read all the Bible. I have. ain't in there. Now, what is in there is my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will not perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. This has nothing to do with pronunciation. My children know my name. You know what's funny? Let's just say that scripture did say that. Let's play hypothetical eisegesis. You know your daddy's name. You going to call him that? (laughs) No. You going to call him father. Because you understand that title, even though you understand the name. (laughs) That nigga said you going to call him that? Let's do some eisegesis then, real quick. Merry Christmas, nickel. You feel me? Let's do some ice of Jesus. My children know my name. Yeah. And what do we call him? We still call him father. Exactly. Do you realize the Hebrew culture was so intense about even knowing the the Yod, uh, the 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 Y H V H, that title, that thing that they just put down, you know what I'm saying? To describe the I am. They wouldn't even say it. 
to Holy this day, Lord. they respect his name so much or even God, the title so much, they write G-D. G -G they don't even spell out God, the title, because they know who they're talking about. So we talking, bro. Voldemort, nigga. You feel me? <laughs> Y'all even was, it's like, yo, he who would not be named. That's he, how much they respect the he name. He who I love. And so he's saying my children know my name. No, they, they, there wasn't an emphasis on the actual name. It was the voice. The, my sheep hear my voice. Bro, when you would go into a field with other shepherds, you would let your sheep roam around. Yeah. They would just go and graze the fields. And the moment a shepherd lay down their call to their own sheep, those sheep would then disperse and then go to wherever their shepherd landed. Why? Because they knew the voice of the shepherd so heavy and they would follow him. They, look, I know them and they follow me. It's one thing to know the voice, but it's also another thing to follow. So it's more an emphasis about God making the call and you responding to the call by following. Right. Not you calling out the name in the right pronunciation. Point number one, done. Point number two, done. Point and even and even to oh, the you, okay, even going. to the sheep part. I know this is your smoke. My bad. Oh, you good? Go ahead, my bro. I'm, 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 I got more smoke. Keep I know, going. I'm, I'm on. I don't, don't want to interrupt the smoke. In the video. Oh. No, you good? Go ahead. <laughs> you going by by time stamp? Oh, oh yeah, we oh, this get crazy. Okay, okay. it's going to get crazy. Bro. Okay, so even to to your point. Um, it 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 is it is about the name to some degree, but the name is only powerful based on the connection, based on that relationship. Because demons know the name, know the name. Jesus, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what's their relation to? It's the relation to the That's name. An adversary. You know what I'm saying? So like the the name is only bolstered and only really has power based on your relationship. So. Uh, Judas knew Jesus' name. Relationship was trash. So Judas calling out on Jesus, what's this going to get him? So I, even with that, like it's, he's clearly approaching this from a legalistic, very like knowledge-based standpoint, and he's missing um, that he, he's approaching it very like from a pharisaical viewpoint. The fulfillment of that power in that name is your relationship with the Lord. And Man, so, I think called it Pharisee is giving him too much respect. The Pharisee studied. Be. This nigga is. You right. He this did. This nigga study. is not even like this is. He did. Study. What's he did What's study. below a student? Uh, you got scholar. You got student. Then you got uh, wait list. Yeah, he on like, wait list. Uh, he, he ain't enrolled. He's a nigga who listens to the podcast but don't subscribe. He the nigga that quote niggas that quote niggas. Yeah, and then like say. Uh, don't cite the source. Yeah, but tells you it's fact. <laughs> yeah, he the, but that's that, yeah, he the so nigga yeah, that copy bro, and paste. I got too much respect for the Pharisees to call him one of those. Paper. bro. That's a fair point. That's that ain't it, bro. The Pharisees actually, it's like uh, they at least Jesus could say, "Hey, have you not heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't say that about this nigga. <laughs> you have not heard. You ain't heard. <laughs> you ain't heard, oh nigga. My God. Anyway, let me go back to cooking. Okay. Yo, he got street tight, bro. Bro, because bro, like, he's he's tight, equating, bro, bro. He's equating the pronunciation to salvation, bro. I know he that's is so disrespectful, wilder, bro. bro. That's, 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 that is a lack of knowledge of the scriptures, bro. So, anyways, um, ooh, okay. Let me go to this scripture, John eight twenty four. I told you that you would die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am He, you mm. will die in your sins. So they said to him, "Who are you?" Come on. Jesus said to them, he doesn't say, I'm Jesus. Jesus is. Watch what he said. Or Jesus. <laughs> he didn't say, Yeshua, Yahushua. Yahushua. He didn't say that. Watch, he says, just what I've been telling you from the beginning. I have much to say about you and much to judge. But he who sent me is uh -oh. true. Uh -oh. And I declare uh -oh. to the world what I have heard from him. Hey. They did not understand that he had been speaking to them about the father. So Jesus said to them, when you have lifted up the son of man, he gives some descriptive titles. I am the son of man. And this son of man title is the same title given in Daniel 9 about the person, the son of man who will ride in the clouds. Now, this cloud rider, I think, which was used in like, like nine times in the Old Testament, was a title given to the God named Baal. Now, the fact that he is saying the son of man, he's equating himself to a deity. 
that they understood as a deity. Now he comes. Right in on the cloud. Ride to do th- to say that Jesus, they they were well aware of what it meant to ride a cloud. Oh, that is a title man. given to a deity, son of man. Oh, he says, man. when you have lifted up the son of man, lifted him up. What's that talking about? Crucifixion. Yeah, the cross. Nigga. Then you will know. Watch this. That I am He. In twenty twenty three translation, I'm Him. I'm Him. Whenever Jesus get into the I'm He who him. sent me bag. He about to start I'm cooking. I'm him. He about to start cooking. He said, cooking. when they crucify me, they lift up the son of man, then you will know I am he. And that I do nothing on my own authority, but speak just as the father taught me. And he who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do the things that are pleasing. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. Here's the thing. You can believe God. But believing in God, two different things. Oh, break it down. Believing God means you believe and you follow his commands. Okay. Believing in him is, oh, yeah, I believe that he exists. I believe this dude is. It's like, yo, this dude, this dude just talks some truth. Now, the believers, when you are believing God, you trust his word and follow him and we're so associate to him as Lord. Yeah. And so the fact that you have people that are saying, hey, I'm going to believe in him. I'm believing God. And, at, and, and at, or believing him at this moment. These are people who we'd associate as followers. And these followers didn't follow based off of a pronunciation of the name. It was a proclamation of mm-hmm. a title. I am him. Yeah. They asked, who are you? He said, I'm him. Son of the man. The same son of man you know and refer to in the Old Testament scriptures. This is where it's interesting where you have... Some uh, religions, like even those um, are, are, are brothers in humanity um, from Islamic faith. Like, oh, when, is, when does Jesus ever say he's God? Right here. I'm him, son of man. Says it a lot. Cloud rider. Anyway. Lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, his third point was seek and you will find. Okay, so I'm not skipping that because here's the thing. People quote that scripture, but it's, it's, it's almost like we, we, we quote the scripture, seek and you will find. As in a scripture that just refers to get knowledge or, or, or seek understanding or seek. But these things may be true. And I don't think like just because seeking you will find text is used that way. It's, it's wrong. But I'm saying it's good to understand the context of the text. So what's the scripture saying? Because he didn't quote that fully or give a source. Yeah. Matthew 7, 7 through 11. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks or receives, and to the one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, it will be open. Or which one of you, if his son asks for him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father who is in heaven Give good things to those who ask him. This is about understanding your relationship with a father and a son. It's like, yo, if my son asks for something good, I'm not going to give him something bad. And this is genuinely asking the father, not prescribing the name. And so as he's saying things like seek and you'll find, yes, for sure. But seek even that text, sir, and see that it's actually talking about a relationship. And what happens when you're actually intimate in the God-man relationship? It's saying, hey, man, like, I know that if I ask something from you and it's from a heart that's connected to you, you're going to give it. Yeah. That's what that's talking about. Another L. Point number four. He says, I didn't read the part that says, call me whatever you want. I didn't need it, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go? <laughs> okay, so this goes back to like when I when I talked about how um, the writer of the clouds, his name was Baal, right? So in Hosea two, sixteen through eighteen, and what happened in the book of Hosea, sir? Just to give a little little breakdown, what happened? He was loving that hoe. Hosea the whole saver. That's the facts. You feel me? He was, he was Ho Hamashiach. He was the whole saver. He was Hoshua. 
<laughs> your whole shoe up. And that's how you use titles properly, nigga. <laughs> he was the your whole shoe up. <laughs> My man was out here saving hoes. Jose. So here's, here's, here's Jose. Or we'll call him your whole shoe up. Because he was out here saving hoes, right? And in that day, declares the Lord, you will call me my husband, and no longer will you call me my Baal. For I will remove the names of the Baals from her mouth, and they will be remembered by my name no more. And I will make for them a covenant on that day with the beasts of the fields, the birds of the heavens, and the creeping things on the ground, and I will abolish the bow, the sword, and the war from the land, and I will make you lie down in safety. What's he talking about? Now, if you understand the Hebrew language, in that day, declares the Lord, you will call me husband no more, and you will call me husband. That's literally what it's saying. But if you understand that, the word husband takes so many forms, and Baal actually means husband in the Hebrew. But the issue was, it's almost like saying, if you got a relationship with somebody and you call them Bay, and then you find out they're cheating, and they're calling the person that they're cheating with Bay, it's like, uh-uh, don't call me Bay no more, because I seen how you use that word Bay. And so he's saying, you out here cheating on me, and using the name Baal as you worshiping Baal? Jesus is. Yeah, how about this? Don't call me Baal no more. Call me another form of husband. I think it's like Aishi or something like that. I don't, I don't speak Hebrew. I'm not claiming like I do like this nigga does. But what I'm saying is, is that he understood that even though the name could be correct, you could actually be calling him the right name, but... If the heart behind calling him the name isn't even connected to his nature and who he is and your relationship with him, he'll say, stop calling me that. They were actually calling him what he was cool with them calling him before, Baal. But then because they started worshiping Baal as Baal, he said, don't call me Baal no more. Call me another former husband. Cook, nigga. What are you doing, bro? So what does that tell you, you person? Couldn't think of yeah. a nice way to say it. Feel me? Person. Human. You homo sapien. Yeah. Homo. Homo sapien. sapien. You feel me? That tells you feel me? that regardless about, of what bro. name you call him, he identifies you by your relationship, relationship with him. It's simple. This is a concept that travels through the entirety of the Bible. Dummy. That's why when uh, Moses came to the burning bush, he said what? I am the Lord your God. I'm the Lord of your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He caught, he connected who he was to a relationship. So all this Yeshua, Jesus, my nigga, that nigga, like, bro, it's it's prob- it's predicated off that relationship. Shout out to Beta. Hey, we here to smoke today. It's <laughs> oh, wow. Chin. Yeah, we Wait. getting dark. It's getting. It's about to get dark. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, chain activated. Wesley Snipes. <laughs> it's getting dark. Hey, bro. Daylight did you savings. See, did you see like the preview for Blade? The Blade video game. No, I bro, heard it's fire. Though. It is. Also heard it's rated mature. Mature. <laughs> so they did what Blade they, Justice. What are they doing? Like, when this I saw that game. TV MA, I, I was actually inspired. I was like, thank you. What are they I doing in this want, video game? I don't want PG thirteen blade cuts. I need, I need, I need like you slash him and it's like. Oh, okay. Look. So like the mature, yeah, it's, it's like it's blood. It's like gore. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, bro. When I saw mature, I was like, I don't play video games, so I don't know what this means. Yeah, no. Nah, I didn't know nah, how mature nah. it was getting. <laughs> yeah, like, bro. Let's just say <laughs> video games have gotten so crazy that um, Spider Man got nominated for seven different awards and won zero. And for best game of the year, it lost to a game where you actually could smash a bear. Huh. Yeah. Oh, Actual right. bear. Bestiality. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Get it on. <laughs> Got it. Marvin Gaye. <laughs> you and Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah, bro, God. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. Okay. You and Yogi. Yeah, it's weird, man. I don't 
don't know how they let yeah, that boo -boo, slide, Give me another yeah, picnic yeah. basket. But they said that majority of people that actually played the game didn't go down that route, which shows there's there's hope in humanity <laughs> for some reason. Why? They had why, the is there, why is there a game on the market where you can't go down that route? Yeah, it's, it's weird, bro. It's pretty like a game where you can like transform into a bear, and so there's like a love scene, and you can actually have the option of, okay, let me go back to my regular form. Or it's like, no, I could just stay the bear. Oh, right. Back to the Jesus of Sins. In that picnic basket. <laughs> All me, right. Let me get your picnic yeah, basket. So, uh, yeah. Hey, hey, yo. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's real game, my nigga. <laughs> Yo, what kind of game? Yeah, bro, it's that? wild, bro. Bro, imagine, and imagine, why, bro, Spider Man. Spider -Man why did it be Spider Man? So fire, bro, it's so fun. I'm what? still at the graphics. I'm like, there's no way to join Lost. And then people, people who love that game really love that game. I will say the, the game that won. I wonder what they love but about it. I'm, I'm just thinking about the developers, the devs that like put the hard work in, and you sit there lose to a game where like people talk about bestiality. It. Bro, and people in the comment section, like the Twitter, was like, "Yeah, but you can't smash no bear, though." <laughs> nah, I think nah, I think nah, Oh, that webs, nah, you can't bro. smash no bear. You know, <laughs> can say all the webs and flips, <laughs> nigga. Webs and flips <laughs> with a bear, though. You feel me? Whips and chains, nigga. X is is wild, but shout out to you know what I'm saying. Uh, the no, new, the new no, no, we're not shouting that. Later. Video. Okay, I'm gonna Lady. say we're not shouting that. And video even still, game you know what I'm saying. Uh, parental advisory description. Uh, Advised, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> for our, for our Parents, youth. consider yourselves advised. Yeah, indeed. Uh, number six, <laughs> he said 383 AD, they were told not to use the name anymore. Who are they? And who told them? So, in the year 383 AD, that was when St. Jerome, um, I think, fully published the Latin Vulgate. And this is where you had St. Jerome, who spent years on this, translating and tra transliterating the Bible into Latin to make it more mainstream within the area. And it actually put a wide spread on that. Mm -hmm. And so, you think that St. Jerome had a secret mission to hide the name of Yeshua when nigga. translating it into Latin? Come on, nigga. Be for real. I, 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 is that the day you're talking about, St. Jerome? Because like, three eighty, he said about 383 A.D. Um, let me see. There's a couple things that happened. You had, might be, talk, that, that was, out of all of them, I could, this confused me the most. You had the Council of Rome in 382. You can't be talking about that. You had the Council of Hippo in 393. I hope you're not talking about that. So 383, it's, St. Jerome's Vulgate, because it's that's, that's talking about a translation. So, I, 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 man, I don't know where he, where he's getting like the information that because it was translated into Latin, it's now therefore trying to hide the original name. It's not hiding the original name; it's putting the name in their language. So, in in the Greek, it would actually be Yesu when it's translated, just or transliterated. From one to one. Yesu. But whenever you have a masculine name in Greek, what do they put at the end of it? S. An S. Name me a Greek masculine name, don't got an S on it. <sighs> Hercules, Damocles, Hades, Zeus. Sorry, I'm running the blank. So you put Yesus. So for the niggas, it's also like, oh, he's just talking about hell, Zeus. That's his actual name. No, nigga, you don't understand history. You understand language. He's, it's actually just Yesu, but they put the S on there to describe he's mad. It's a man. Jesus was a man. Which is, which is, Hail I Seuss. Yo, it's a, no, it's, it's, these comedic African spirituality will be wearing which I believe, Lux niggas really out here thinking they. That's pretty close to the Latin translation of Jesus, isn't it? Bro, yes. Yeah, yes, Seuss. Yes, Seuss. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, bro, I don't know what they're doing, bro. Uh -huh. But yeah, so. Yeah. A quick Google search really will help you out. help you out. Just not hard, up. bro. It's like, just look, look it up. <laughs> it's like a quick Google search, oh bro. This, we can we can really like just squash this whole thing in like 12 minutes. Bro, it's, yes, bro, yes. But I, I'm really, I told him that he was, hey, I, was, hey, I, was, hey, I, was look, I was gonna go in. Cook, bro, no, cook. So I'm, I'm, like, I'm going in. But just so, for everybody else out, out there that's confused, just Google and give yourself two minutes. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a web thing. You don't have to call it a website. There's a web 
source called yeah. Google. And if you really want to get deep, type in Google Scholar. Yeah. Then you'll Ooh. actually get some cited scholarly sources from articles. scholarly yeah. sources as well. And but a simple Google Scholar search really will simple. humble you very really quickly. Simple. So you can just type any variation of the question in Google and you'll be you'll be good. Yeah. Hopefully. Unless I don't know what the source anyways. Yeah. Just don't um, type Jesus's. I got two more points he made and then I'm done. Um he said number seven. You're making the name meaningless. Ooh, 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 How ooh, much ooh, more useless ooh. can a name be if you stop using it? Ooh, and he quotes, ooh. you shall not take the name of the Lord, your God, in vain. And that's how he stops it. Yeah. Um, Don't take the Lord, your God's name in vain. Okay. And then he said, you're making the name useless or meaningless. Now, uh, that's the one thing in this whole thing I agree with. The word vain means meaningless. You did good, sir. With you getting with getting the name the meaning of vain correct. The first time in the video you describe something and put the meaning behind it. Vain means useless. Now, did yes. you use it contextually? No. Now, if I want to use it contextually, I would say, "Sir, your video is vain." Nigga. Useless. Okay? But so if you read the full scripture, it he don't, says he don't like reading full scripture. You shall not take. This is Exodus. He's allergic to context. Yeah, yeah. If 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 you would just read the full scripture, you would have actually refuted your own video. You shall not take the Lord, the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. He will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Come on. Not says his name in vain, you dummy. Takes it. Takes his name in vain. Takes now, it. If you actually just did a little bit of research. Takes it. Um, in, 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 in Matthew 5, 33, they actually had an issue in the, in the time of the Pharisees of taking the Lord's name in vain. Now, uh, Matthew five thirty three. <clears throat> Read, yes, sir. Let me go to it. I got a bunch of scriptures like on the. <laughs> Why are you demanding me, Dicky? No, Dicky, you ain't catch it. Read. Okay. Oh, like the Hebrews. <laughs> yeah, read. Again, you have heard from the Lord that those of old you shall not swear falsely, um, but shall perform to the Lord what you have sworn. Now, here's the thing. The way they were taking the Lord's name in vain is that they would swear falsely by his name. Right. So watch this. Um, this is from Ellicott's commentary for English readers. It said, by them of the old time, read to the time of old in that scripture. Here again, the reference is to the letter of the law as taught by the rabbis who did not go beyond it to a wider spirit. To them, the third commandment, was simply a prohibition of perjury as the sixth was of murder or the seventh was adultery. They did not see that the holy name might be profaned in other ways, hmm. even when it was not uttered. And they expressly or tactfully allowed many forms of an oath in which it was not named as with the view of guarding it from desecration. Lastly, out of many forms thus sanctioned, as here in Matthew 23, 16 through 22, they selected some as binding and others as not binding. And thus by a casuistry at once subtle, irrational, and dishonest, tampered with men's sense of truthfulness. What am I saying to you right now? All they were saying is in today's culture speaking, it's like saying, man, I put that on God and think that because you put it on God and was playing and didn't actually say, I put that on Yahweh, that it didn't bind you to keeping your word. Nigga. The scripture says, when you vow a vow to God, do not deny, delay in paying it, for he has no pleasure in fools. Pay what you vow, because it is better that you should not vow than that you should vow and not pay it. So you got niggas out here basically putting stuff on God. I put that on God. I put that on Yahweh. Heaven forbid. As God is my witness. Do you realize when you're saying this, you're putting a contract spiritually on that. 
Ruh-ruh. And even the rabbis, the Pharisees, were doing the same thing that these youngins out here doing today. But putting God's name in vain. Uh, not saying the name wrong, you dummy. Nigga. So, by swearing falsely by his name, you're actually putting his name in vain. Put it, so, this actually is a challenge to those who... When you had that car crash and said, God, I promise you, if you get me out of this one. I ain't never going to drive drunk again. Contract. You broke that contract. Apologize. Repent. Ask for mercy. Because you have broken not only the command, but you've broken a contract with God. And God takes contracts seriously. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. It's better to not make a contract with God. Don't put God into it. Because what you're doing is you're allowing God to be the witness. God is my witness. Why? Because you don't have a physical witness there. It's like, yo, God is my witness. You can say this, but you better mean it. And if you bear a false witness, you are breaking the law. Breaking the commandment. You are breaking, That's you a are moral breaking commandment. The, so yeah. my challenge to you, if you have made a, if you've made a contract with God you weren't able to keep, just apologize. I'm not saying just apologize like it's a small thing. But I'm saying Ask you have to actually please. address that with God. Handle yeah. that. Because he took it serious when you said that. You brought yeah. him into it. You brought him into the courtroom. And then was like, hey, I got you. I'm good now. I'm about to go do it again. That's What are we doing? You're not putting. God is walking up at the Breakfast Club podcast. All right. All right. With two other people behind him. All right. Jesus in the spirit has said. Put some respect on my name. Proceed with caution, nigga. Put some respect on it. I, 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 I'm pulling up on you. <laughs> Put some I, respect on his name. I'll tree y'all. Y'all tree him. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Put some respect on him. I'm pulling up on you. I'm pulling up on you, nigga. <laughs> hey, yo. Cooking this nigga, bro. Hey, you really are. <laughs> bro, it's really bad. I'm like, okay. <sighs> so then he says, did you ever read the scripture that says, go away? You do not know me. Because if you knew me, you know my effing name. <laughs> I didn't read that scripture, sir. I did it either. Neither did he. Neither did he. Because it don't exist, you idiot. Nobody ever read that It doesn't scripture. exist. <laughs> what? It's funny how he keeps referring to, you didn't the know name. my name, as the pronunciation of a name. But it's, it's so yeah, crazy. Like, yeah. like. It's just an English transliteration of the name, bro. I don't get it, bro. But okay, simple. let's read the actual scripture. He didn't get a single scripture he quoted right. Not a single one. Not, a single Not one. everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Come on. But the one who does the will of the Father uh -oh. who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy your name, cast out demons in your name, do mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. You never what? Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Lawlessness. Not depart from me, you workers of non-pronunciation, you dummy. He is saying, they actually said, Yehoshua. In the same way you were walking around. If you walked around and said, Jesus, you wouldn't know what you're talking about. Yeah, sure, whatever, cool. Let's just say about Yehoshua. Yehoshua Hamashiach. They're actually saying, we did this in your name and said your name correctly, Lord. What's up? He's saying, yeah, but you're a worker of lawlessness. Depart from me. That's how you don't make it into the gates. Not by not pronouncing it right. Also, the scripture that he misquoted was originally written in Greek. So. What are we doing? Wasn't even Yeshua. What are we doing? So. But it, but, but, yeah, but it, sure. Aramaic, like he's, he's, he would have yeah. spoke Hebrew, so yeah, he it would have been Hebrew, but for sure. Yeah. So, but like, I, what I'm saying is like, even they would have said his name correctly, and just by saying his name correctly, it showed that scripture is disproving your point, sir. Because they actually said his name and pronounced it the right way. Pronunciation, bro. What we're doing right now? Pronunciation. Don't have a stroke. Calm down. They pronounced his name right, They're and because there was no connection to who he was. In identity, in title, as Lord and owner, they practice lawlessness. And for that reason, they were not allowed into the heavenly gates. Not because they didn't say the name correctly. They said the name correctly and still didn't get in. He didn't make, I'm going through everything he said, verbatim. If I'm misquoting him, 
quoting, not, I'm, I could be misunderstanding him. Cool, we can challenge that and you can take an L on that. I'm, I did not misquote him at all. I'm quoting everything he's saying and he didn't say a single thing correctly in that entire clip. Get this work, sir. So, <clears throat> that, and when Jesus finished these words, the crowds were astonished at his teaching for he was teaching them as one who had authority and not as their scribes. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to read a couple more scriptures, and we'll be out. Uh, we can go to the hot seat. Um, Peter confesses Jesus Christ in the scripture. It's Matthew 16, uh, 13 on through. When Jesus came into the region, actually, no, no, no. Before I go there, before I go there, uh, watch this. <laughs> we talk about pronunciation, right? Watch this. This is, this is. You, you think it's slick, nigga. You think it's slick. You're not finna deceive the shit. Calling the name of yeah, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is. Jesus is. Uh, Sus his thing. Yeah. Okay, Judges 12. Y'all can flip to Judges 12. Ha! 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 pronunciation, right? Yeah. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Watch this. And we, uh, watch, bro, this is so crazy. Um, then Japheth, Japheth gathered all the men of Gilead and fought with Ephraim. And the men of Gilead struck Ephraim because they said, you are fugitives of Ephraim, you Gileadites, in the midst of Ephraim and Manasseh. And the Gileadites captured the fords of Jordan against Ephraimites. And when any fugitives of Ephraim said, let me go over, the men of Gilead would say to them, are you an Ephraimite? And when he said, no, they said to him, well, say Shibboleth. <laughs> and then they would say Sibboleth, for they could not pronounce it, pronounce it right. And then they seized him and slaughtered him at the fords of Jordan. At the time, 42,000 of the Ephraimites fell. They were trying to disguise themselves. Ephraimites, sir, these are Hebrews. They speak the Hebrew language. But because they didn't know how to pronounce a Hebrew letter correctly, the sh, they said, hey, say, say, say Shibboleth. Shibboleth. <laughs> Kill them all, 42,000. Off with their heads. From a pronunciation mistake. What I'm telling you is, even if I don't know how to pronounce Yeshua, but the direction is going to Yeshua, God is pleased. Because he's knowing that you know his voice, not your voice is saying his name correctly. These are Hebrews that couldn't pronounce a word in Hebrew the way that other Hebrews pronounced it. And they recognized it because they didn't know the dialect. Bro, you know how I always know when a nigga from Louisiana? Because them niggas make groceries. Nowhere else in the world do niggas make groceries. But in Louisiana. Am I wrong, Tony? We, we, I, I, which, I remember being in high school, you know what I'm saying, when the tragedy struck and then like, a lot of people had to flee to, te fle flee to Texas. I learned so much in that two, three year span. I learned how to say baby. And I learned when somebody is going to the store and they want to get something, they're going to make groceries. Now, I ain't never made groceries in my life, according to me. But collecting groceries or going grocery shopping to them is making groceries. That was culture shock for me. It's different. If I'm talking to somebody and I say, hey, matter of fact, I could say, say the name or, or, or say, say the word Jew. And they say, Jew. Where they from? Baltimore. Because they don't know how to do the ooh without the ooh. They're going to put a ooh on it. Pronunciation. I'm not co-signing this. DMV niggas don't come for me. <laughs> this is a fact. It's like, what you going to do? You feel me? But I love Lamar. The I love the, but here's the thing. I love the here's Washington the Wizards. Whether or not they pronounce it the way I pronounce it, I know what they're talking about. So the fact that he thinks that somebody can actually go to the gates of heaven and then be disqualified because they pronounced the name wrong, you idiot. Quit doing false teaching.
That is false teaching. I'm not calling you a false teacher. That means you're headed to the lake of fire. You might have a chance, sir. I'm just saying quit doing false teaching. This is not Bible, sir. Nothing you said was actually on point, and nothing you said had any type of validity to it. Last scripture I'm going to read is Matthew 16. Peter confesses Jesus Christ. When Jesus came into a region of, the, of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I am? The Son of Man. The Son of Man, I am. Uh, who, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So now he also is referring to him as the Son of Man again. We know the power of that phrase, Son of Man, in the Old Testament. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's referring to deity. Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, I am? He didn't say I, Jesus, am. Because you can call, I can literally give you the gospel and never say the name of Jesus. I can say the Christ. I can say the Messiah. I can say the Son of Man. I can say the Prince of Peace. I can say whatever is associated to the name of Jesus. Associated to the name of Jesus. To the name of Yeshua. To the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. However you want to say it. He said, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, some say John the Baptist. Some say Elijah. Others, Jeremiah, or even one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah, for flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you, Peter, I, and on this rock I'll build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he commanded his disciples, they shall not tell no one that he was Jesus, the Christ. I don't know how much more clear this could be. Again, just get on Google. It's like so simple. Yeah. So, just, um, should I call him Jesus or Yeshua? Like, or should we call him Jesus, Yeshua, Hamashiach, uh, Yahushua, should I Yahushua? Call him, should I call him um, Jesus? You get, name you pick. You, get, you can call him Prince of Peace. You give him a lot. You can call him Messiah. Heavy load bearer. You can call him Yesu. Waymaker. Yesus. Great physician. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, well, I can go really all go day. all day. I am that I am. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just, yeah, bro. Before Abraham was, I am. You feel me? <laughs> I did an hour of that. My bad, Joe, bro. Was, you had this, bro. You had smoke for Buddy. I'm just, look, you know. He's not here, so you know. I'm gonna post this though. No, yeah, it's, it's going up. If he if he real, he'll come on the show and get worked. Oh my gosh, bro, I, he won't I'm, come on the bro, show. Bro, what's crazy he, he is, he bro, the, work. the people that were mainly in the comments were these comedic niggas, bro. Any comedic nigga in the DFW Metroplex is more than welcome <laughs> oh, to sit right yeah, here, come come, and through. have the most uncomfortable loving conversation in your life. Indeed, you you yeah yeah. I'm I'm with that comedic smoke. You feel me? So come get cooked. In the name of Yahushua. In the name of that <laughs> nigga Jesus. Like, in, indeed, the, in, in the name of the, of the Jesuses. Jesuses, you feel me? Oh my gosh, yeah. That nigga gave Jesus. an hour worth of smoke. Yeah, bro. <laughs> he hey, was tight. I, I was in a hot seat. Bro, when I, when, I, when I saw that video, bro, so I actually, I actually put a challenge. I was like, hey, if y'all retweet this 50 times, I'll do an in depth uh, response to it. And so it got retweeted like 100 times within like an hour. And I was like, oh, dang. <laughs> All right, that's my uh, that's my alarm telling me to let him go. So uh, we can wrap it up. Any last words, sir? No. Nah. <laughs> well, this has been another episode of Black Men Do Talk. That's street hymns, and he had literally all went from a walk today. My name is awkward. I do that because I'm I just got to say here today. Deep in this and listen, I often but lay on the altar of we hope that you I'm have at least taken, taken away. And, and if you have questions, you can ask and Google. And jargon, they say, what is it? Okay. Right? It's all the same. You can ask Jeeves, so ask Google, you nigga. Straight, uh, away, but all of that is free. You know, like, share, comment, subscribe, and make sure you pray. Whether it's to Jesus, Yahuwah, Yeshua, Yah, Yahweh. Whatever it is, make sure you pray and talk to the Lord every day. Love y'all, man. Peace. Oh. It's like you wanted to clap, but you didn't want to clap? It was a slow clap. No, no. It was a.